actually very happy uh, to meet all of you in the beautiful campus of uh, University of Southern California. And, uh, I have, uh, I'm here uh, for a Los Angeles for uh, some mission. The mission is to get an award, that is the Pond Gorman uh, Big Award. And it is a very important for me because I am an aeronautics fellow and he is a guru of Pond Gorman. So he is award getting that I, uh, today evening I, have, I am there for that purpose. It's a great surprise for me to meet all of you, all the young people uh, from uh, this region and also many regions I understand people have come. Uh, so it is a great pleasure for me to meet all of you on this beautiful day. I, I, my greetings to all of you assembled here and to the Lead India 2020. Lead India 2020. It's a very important moment, the movement of the youth. Friends, first of all, I would like you to visualize with me in another 11 years time how India can be transformed. So I am just trying to take you by 2020 and that's the movement, Lead India movement. And how do you get look like by the church So first and foremost a nation where the rural, all of you can get it? Yes. Yes. Including the lost guys. <laughs> a nation where the rural and the urban divide has reduced us in life. That means this vision has to be the vision of the youth. A nation where there is an equitable distribution and adequate access to energy and quality water. Both are like life. A nation where agriculture, industry and service sector work together in symphony. A nation where education with value system is not denied to any meritorious candidates because of societal or economic discrimination. A nation where poverty has been totally eradicated, illiteracy removed and all citizens are able to feel a sense of security. Then a nation where which is the best destination for the most talented scholars, scientists and universities. A nation where the best of health care is available to all. A nation where the governance is responsive and transparent. A nation that is prosperous, healthy, secure, devoid of terrorism, peaceful, happy and the continues with the sustainable growth path. Finally, a nation that is one of the best places to live in and is proud of its leadership. How do we do that? That 540 million people who are below 25 years, that's a great part of the planet, yes, our young people are there. To achieve a distinct profile of new nation, we have to have a mission for transforming the nation into a developed nation. For India, we have identified five areas where we have core competence for integrated action. The first one is agriculture, the agro food processing. Agro food processing, we are doing the highest priority in the level plan because of the value addition. The second one, education and health care, particularly women education, the highest priority. And that recently, government has passed a bill where they up to the age 15, the free and compulsory education. The information communication technology because we have to connect 600, nearly 600,000 villages where 700 million people live in. Then infrastructure that will not that weekly, infrastructure reliable and quality electric power, surface transport for all parts of the country. Then self-reliant critical technology. 
these five areas are closely interrelated and if progressed in a coordinated way will lead to food, economic and national security. The development in science and technology is vital for time-bound realization of the ten pillars that I have just now mentioned to you friends. But if friends, let me share with you one event. Now, DD India movement is spreading for, through Pura providing urban and rural area. Many private agencies are doing and then many student, uh, student community in part of very in our country, they are also participating in such type of mission. Let me share with you one event which I have came across during my recent visit to Chennai. When I landed at Chennai airport, a team of people waiting for me to see, I met them at the airport lounge. There I met one unique person by name called Bars, M. A. Balsamuram. Mr. Balsamuramuniam, now 29 years old, started thinking of why not Vodafone 2020 inspired by the Development Year Vision 2020. He has been running a small tea shop. You see how a tea shop man. He can play yeah, individualistic and a beautiful role I could manage. He has been running a small tea shop, tea stop, with the name Barney Snacks. Barney was a great national poet, as you know, who inspired many people for freedom struggle. Barney's poems were banned by the then British rule, and he had to live in Pondicherry, which was then under French rule. Right from childhood, Barney Subramanian used to take part actively in social service and also promote the awareness about national leaders. Kodambakum, as you know, is the Hollywood of Chennai, where many of the Indian movies are made. On the other side, this area is lo lo locality of poor and lower middle class people. This tea stall, this tea stall situation in, in the locality is catering to the lower middle class and poor people. Many young people visiting his tea stall used to ask him about the national leaders. Some of them got inspired. In the year 2000, around 10 of them decided to start a movement to make Kodapakam as the ideal place for living by 2020. And Mr. Balasupriam named this initiative as Kodapakam 2020 in line with India 2020. To achieve this vision, he had formed a, a informal group called Nandor Vattam, meaning Forum for Good People. Forum for Good People. Over the period of nine years, this initiative has grown effectively with more than 1,000 members and they have divided their activities into 26 categories like blood donation, environment, improvement, poor feeding, education, awareness for eye donation, yoga class. This organization, Nandur Vattam, does not have any president, treasurer, secretary. It's a flat organization with Mr. Balasubramanian and another young professional Vengadej as their leaders. They have one in charge, they, they, they have one in charge person for all the 26 activities. They have not been they are collecting any money from anybody for the past nine years. All the activities are supported with the, with the help of partners who take care of the expenses directly. The in charge person of the activities week every Sunday at the 4 p.m. shot for the past nine years regularly and discuss their activities. Some of the interesting initiatives done by this team, you will think the individual. Rapid action service on the birthday of Mahadri Bhadiya and, and the many and the many people, 150 members assembled in one particular college or area at 7 a.m. start a service like cleaning, cleaning the street, creating awareness of various issues like healthcare, environment to the people, planting trees, etc. They do the service till the event. Of course, we are all 
informs the residents of Adon over the rapid action service, 50% of their residents join this bank. This is the individual movement, how that nobody is controlling them, no leader is guiding them, but it's a different task. Such mission, so it's a very important mission. So, I like to, uh, I like to um, congratulate the team and they are doing a fantastic work. Such things should move, should increase in our country and various parts of the world. It is such individuals who will make many difference in our country. <coughs> Dear friends, now I am going to talk to you the creative leadership. I have seen three dreams which have taken shape as a vision, mission and realization. Space program of Indian Space Research Organization and the Agni and the Agni program of DRU and Pura program providing urban amenities rural area <coughs> begin with a national mission with my own experience I have seen. Of course these three programs succeeded in the midst of many challenges and problems. I have worked in all these three areas. I would like to convey to you what I have learned of leadership from these three programs. When you all come, in, come out of the university or various type of work what you are doing, the what is the type of leadership quality India needs or anything in the USA needs? The first world leader must have a vision. That is the, one of the greatest qualities for example Dr. Vikram Saravai and he gave the vision for India and India has to become a space power uh, by, by in 10 years time and in his lifetime he has seen today in India can launch any type of satellite launch vehicle and the geosynchronous launch orbit or polar orbit. So that capability because vision has come. Similarly, there were two one political leader, one scientist, that is C. Subramanian political leader, and a scientist was uh, Swaminathan, Dr. Swaminathan, agriculture scientist. They visualized 1950, they have to be beat ships from various countries. And they said we will become self-reliant. Today India is producing 230 million tons of food. It's all result of the vision. Similarly, given IT, sorry, IT technologies to 30 and 35 years, they came to India and they started uh, starting small IT companies. They are doing $60 billion worth of software and the exposing part. So friends, vision is very important. Vision drives the nation. Vision ignites the nation and their vision is the foundation for the nation. Leader must have a vision and also leader must have a passion to realize the vision. It's very important without passion that vision will be a balloon without air. And the leader must be able to travel into an unexplored path. That is one of the great qualities of a leader. Leader must know how to manage success and failure. This is very important. Success you can manage, but failure is uh, very, very uh, difficult to manage. But leader should know he, he, he or she manages that one. For example, when uh, 19, 1979, when SLV3 was launched, and uh, I was the project director, mission director, it was a failure. It's a satellite and go into the orbit and it went to play up the call it was a failure. <laughs> so, 1980, when, when the failure took place, Professor Satish Dawar, he was the chairman, he took the responsibility of the failure when, when, when there was a press conference, he took me there and uh, he said, you are going to succeed next year, you are going to give all the technological support of our scientists and, and uh, next year when we succeeded, there was, he was not there at the press conference, he asked me to go to the press conference, conduct the press conference. Quality is of the leader will be always uh, 
he, when the success comes, he gives to he or she gives to his team or I think, but when the failure occurs, the leader takes up. So this is the greatest quality in all of you have acquired during your education. When you come out, when you go for a failure type of mission in life, you have to, you have to be the leader. The leader must have a courage to take the decision. That is the greatest thing. Today, all the problems today is, is the, how fast we can take a decision. Leader should have a nobility in management. Leader should be transparent in every action. Leader, the most important mission, whether you are in USA, whether you are in India, any part of the world, leader must work with integrity and succeed with integrity. Can you repeat with me? Leader, leader must, must work with integrity, work with integrity and, and succeed with integrity. This is the real quality of 21st century leader. So, my friends, when you come out on this campus or anywhere what you do, remember this principle. For success in all your missions, you have to become creative leaders. Lead India 2020 is creative leaders. Creative leadership means the exercise in the vision to change the traditional role from commander to the coach, manager to mentor, from director to the delegator, and from one who demands respect to one who, one who wishes the extent respect. For a prosperous and developed India or any part of the world, the important thrust will be on the generation of number of creative leaders from our education institutions. So friends, when I, when I was uh, getting over Lead India moment, I, I was uh, hearing that uh, uh, the Gobi was presenting the necessity of uh, the career development, Lead India 2020 movement, career development and national development and spiritual development and social development, physical development and mental development. All these things are required. I have, uh, I have had a hymn, I heard a hymn in India. I would like to repeat with you. If you don't mind, it says, repeat with me. Yes. Yes. This is about righteousness in the heart. Where, 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 where there is, there is righteousness, righteousness in the heart, in the heart there, is there is beauty in the character. Beauty in the character. When there is, when there is beauty in the character, beauty in the character there is, there is harmony in the home. Harmony in the home. When there is, when there is harmony in the home. Harmony in the home. There is, there is order in the nation. Order in the nation. When there is, when there is order in the nation. Order in the nation. There is, there is peace in the home. Peace in the home. Friends, can you see this? There is righteousness in the heart, beauty in the character is possible, harmony in the home is possible, order in the nation is possible, and peace in the world is possible. All of them possible. The question is, the righteous in the heart who is? Can you guess? Can you guess? The Lord yet for the white guess. Righteous in the heart who is? Teacher and mother. Eh? Teacher and mother. Teacher? No, you love father? You <laughs> know <laughs> <laughs> it's like this. 40, 50%, 50 percent, 5, 50 percent mark for that. Read the name. Father, mother, correct. Father, mother in a spiritual environment. Third word, teacher you said, is the primary school teacher. Yes. Primary school teacher. So these are the three people can give the righteousness <coughs> heart. Follow me? Yes. So friends, now I will uh, finally say all our leadership, one of the foundation, character's foundation is righteousness in the heart. The second one, courage. Courage.
anything you want to do, the people succeeded only by the Karma. The fragile man never succeeded. So when you repeat with me now, yes. courage, courage to think different, to think different. Courage, courage to invent, to invent. Courage, courage to travel, to travel. Into, an, into an unexplored path, unexplored path. Courage, courage to discover the impossible, to discover the impossible. Courage, courage to combat the problem, to combat the problem. Succeed, succeed. Are the unique qualities, are the unique qualities of the youth, of the youth. As a youth of my nation, as a youth of my nation, I will work. I work and work and work with courage, with courage to, achieve to achieve success, success, success in all the missions. In all all the missions. The missions. Thank you. important moment of the youth just now I can told you how four of us from 2020 at least tall man can take initiative and progress whereas we all are blessed with knowledge knowledge is the most powerful tool we have definitely in the hands of the youth in India 2020 will succeed and uh, now is the moment a few states but it's going to spread throughout the country and 11-11-11 uh, is a very important day. It is not the both important, the, it is actually the action out of it is going to come before to 11-11 is going to be a very important uh, mission for all of us. So friends, I can take a few questions. Yes. Uh, today, why the youth of India still have to leave our home country for higher education? and give more than $2 billion to foreign countries at the rate of 16% growth every year for the students going to the foreign countries for higher education. See, my friend is like this. 23 million Indians, okay, they are outside, okay, the planet Earth. 23 million is every year adding. So it is it average for 25 million today in various planets here. One of the greatest qualities of the Indian soil, there is one lady was there, great poet, Tiragani Modi Tiragani Modi. She said, thousand years back, cross the river, wherever, when you find knowledge as well. Okay, this is one of the characteristics. Actually, the global river. The global world, global village, it is becoming nothing of people moving place to place. And for example, imagine a situation, Columbus discovered this land. If people have not moved, you know, new, new America would not have come. You see the Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley, there are three Americans, Indians and Chinese. Lot of people are there. So it is the people have to move, okay? And for knowledge gathering and wealth generation. Nothing wrong with it. And also we generate every year a 3 million graduates is going to increase to 5 million in two years. And now government going to accept universities from outside can come to India also. So what should not be get cancer? Okay? Yes, yes. Indian political system. Indian? <laughs> Indian political situation. System. Now, what is the question? What do you think about the Indian political system? Ah, what I think of Indian political system. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I was the president, I addressed parliament. Uh, one of the uh, talk I said, define politics, okay? Politics equal to political politics plus developmental politics. You know what it means in <laughs> the only political politics essential that is to become a parliament member, assembly member <laughs> essential. The development politics, one party will say I will make my country before 2020 economically developed nation. 
Another point we said no, not only we made my country economically developed by 2020, I'll make the great citizens. Okay. Third part we said 2020 is not required, 2015 I can say. That's called, that's called development politics. So what our political people are anywhere in the world, they do 70% of the time, they should do the development politics. 30% of that time political politics. Reverse they are doing now. <laughs> but there is a trend, but there is in India, there are recent elections, the trend indicates wherever the development politics are there, they are re elected. Okay? So the trend we are setting in our country now. Yes, sir. Who is the most influential person in your life? Most influential person. Or great human being. Yes, By what you are asking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, inspired. Yes. See, if you ask me who inspired me, you will find when I was a ten year fellow, ten year fellow, that is good class I had a teacher. His name is Siva Subramani Ayya. He went one day he went to the black boat and he went out teaching how a birds fly, how a birds fly, put the thing to the tail and and then the way he explained how birds fly and when I was a 10 year boy, he injected me, I have to do something to fly. And then, no, I didn't know the flight science, I didn't know about it. But my teacher afterwards told me something to fly to learn. And then I took physics, then I took aeronautics engineering. I became a rocket engineer, space technologist like that. Man. So answer to your question, my teacher, Sir Subramanya. Who is your favorite president? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was in the last of the program. I have studied, I have studied all the president before me, okay? Uh, before the president. And uh, I find each one something uniquely in his time. Somebody was a politician, somebody hundred percent politician. Somebody was honest with you. Somebody, somebody was a education, great education. Somebody was a philosopher, philosopher. So each one I try to contribute. They enrich that office of the okay. okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Why is sending a man on moon the main important mission for India? Well, it is like this. Uh, India space program, my space friend also, Madhavanar also with me today in this uh, LA. And uh, we, he tells me, and also I am convinced, that India space program is the only program in the world which, which is societal oriented. That means, when they put the satellite, communication satellite, there is a transponders of communication transponders. There are 150 transponders in the US Army today connecting India. Okay? That remote sensing satellite, there are nine remote sensing satellites in the orbit, resources and warning uh, about the natural resource to the India. So it is highly, highly it is oriented towards uh, and for societal oriented. Now you are question why our payload, Indian payload, landed at the moon. I believe the moon should be the property, moon or Mars should be the property of humanity. It should not be allowed to be the property of two countries. Because this is geopolitical decision. <laughs> <laughs> How conscious we are about our environment? Eh? How conscious Indian people about their environment? You know, we are uh, adding per capita one ton of carbon dioxide. One ton. Um, where you are here, 20 ton, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and Russia contributes towards that. But we should not be happy about it. Even one ton is not a good one. So I have recommended. You know, you would have heard all the students, you would have heard all your books, you have read what's called energy security. I am against energy security. I have recommended what's called energy independence. That means you go away, the, today the car you drive here in America, car we drive in India, car drive throughout the world, 
the integrity billion tons of carbon dioxide from the fossil fuel. India spends about 100 billion dollars and also by the environmental damage because the fossil fuel when used for cars and trend, it generates the carbon dioxide and that's the country. So I have suggested we have three dimensional approach. What is solar power? Solar power, since you are young students and you are the research environment, solar cell is used only 15 percent. But now solar cell, by, by, by using the nano uh, CNT, carbon nano tube and the polymer, the 60 percent efficient power, for three to five years time, solar power will be a very important power. Second one, India will go for a thorium based nuclear reactor. Third one is the, the biofuel. These are the mix we are going so that clean fuel we will not damage the environment. Okay. No question from ladies. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 Energy, whether in that? Uh, like, uh, can we manage, like, uh, the amount of management, like, it has to be very, uh, uh, safety management, uh, the, uh, whatever the areas should be very, uh, you know, sure. <laughs> 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 For, for example, if you say whether nuclear energy, uh, is going to be, because one of the important, uh, uh clean energy from India speaks, that is the solar, uh, nuclear and the biofuel. Nuclear area, we have, to, we have got 40 nuclear reactors and then we are going for thorium based nuclear reactors. Uh, definitely so far record is very clean record safety and uh, it is a, a technology, is proven technology we have and, uh, and we can have uh, safety uh, well taken care of with the design itself. Yes, we uh, we we primarily lack uh, kind of someone. Uh, Says there are very few people like you who motivate young people, and even when they are outside the country, there is no person who kind of motivates them to help others. We we always have the predefined mentality of getting help than doing help. So how do we change that? No, that's a need in the 2022. <laughs> Tall man, something what part of the uh, play, how he moves, how he moves himself, takes action. Okay, let me help uh, my child. So each one, if he, if he or she takes care of, uh, for example, a student, um, just now I saw one stat, 300 million students below 18 years. Imagine that 300 million people, each one have plants five trees. It is 1.5 billion trees. The, the cleanest environment we can transform in 10 years time. Okay. Similarly, every student he can uh, teach five person who cannot read and write number. Definitely is a big transformation takes. Each one of you, then it doesn't cost much. <coughs> only only give your time and calculation. So it's possible. Yeah. You don't have class now? Actually, Emilia Abdul Kalam is the next president of India in the second term. Well, I I was a president, you know. Before that, I was a teacher. I was teaching at Anna University. After five years, I was I am doing that teaching and doing and I like teaching and research. Okay? So, so I have a question. Um, you work in? Yes? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Even after so many years of independence, we are still being called uh, the third world nation and it gives, you know, tea or tea somebody calls us a third world nation. I really want to be, we all want to become a first world nation. And from your analysis, when do you think? By 2020? Or then again in 2020 somebody will show us another mission, like 2050? I don't want to see a vision 2050. 
I wanted uh, to have the 2020. Well, 11 years more, but 2020. <laughs> and uh, definitely, I believe in youth power. Uh, that is the ignited mind of the youth. Ignited, you repeat with me, ignited. 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 Mind of the youth, mind of the youth. Is, the most is the most powerful resource, powerful resource. on the earth. On the earth. Above the earth. Above the earth. And under the earth. And under the earth. Long time, uh, India has an embargo uh, for foreign uh, technology. So, uh, do you think it was a blessing in disguise that we uh, ourselves developed our own uh, new uh, rockets and our own designs and stuff? You know, technology denial. Um, <coughs> I have to follow, went through maximum, okay? <laughs> okay, so it's a part of the game. You see, every nation has got such a good technology. I cannot question the rules of the But in the, every nation has to, for example, India has to see that the best of the critical technology that are now based on the experience, you identify such a critical technology we are pushing. For example, convergence of technology, biotechnology, nanotechnology, information technology, then going the highest priority for India. Okay. So, I don't, uh, Thank <laughs> you. 